guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, thank you so much for visiting. Is it visiting? For watching? For watching. Thank you for watching. And today we are going to be cooking Gigi Hadid's vodka sauce. So before we start cooking, let me tell you what we will need. Well, first of all, it wouldn't be vodka sauce without vodka. Um, we are, we, we, me. <laughs> I'm using some cheap vodka, so I just got this from Trader Joe's. Um, so yeah, here you go. So some vodka, olive oil, some minced onion. Is it minced? Is this called minced? Some chopped up onions and some chopped up garlic. We're gonna need some tomato paste, red pepper flakes. No, these. this is not red pepper flake. This is ooh, cayenne pepper. <laughs> red pepper flakes, Italian seasoning. In your choice of pasta today, I'm gonna be using penne, penne rigate. And then of course, your salt and pepper. Don't forget, we are gonna need some butter for this recipe and a little extra touch of meatballs. So this recipe usually doesn't have any meat in it, but um, I'm not sure why, but I need like, you know, a little bit of protein in my pasta. Okay guys, so welcome to my stove. Um, right now we are gonna be Okay, so I am a one pan type of gal. I hate doing dishes. I don't like a huge mess. So today we are just gonna be using one big pan and I'm gonna be using my handy dandy wok. Um, I'm not gonna show you the inside cause it's like all full of water. You see that? All full of water. Feel free to use a pot if you wanna, you know, do things separately. I just don't wanna wash anything. Okay, let's go. We are gonna start off boiling the pasta first. So I'm gonna just use some high heat, fill my pan up with some water. Next thing you will need is some salt. So I'm gonna generously salt this water. So with pasta, you wanna make sure that the water is salty. You wanna season the pasta before it actually gets officially seasoned. You know what, scratch that. I feel like I'm just gonna be wasting my time here with just one pot, especially for this video. So I'm gonna be smart and I'm just gonna make the sauce separately. So let's go. Okay, so here I have my other pan. Is this, is, are these called pans? They're like huge. They're not, I don't know if they're called pans, whatever. I'm gonna put the real name here. So we are gonna start off with some olive oil. I'm gonna just drizzle some in. So now that it's all hot, I'm gonna put in my garlic. heat is on like medium high. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook this garlic until it's nice and fragrant. And I'm gonna add my garlic to it as well. And we're just gonna keep this moving because we don't wanna burn the garlic. So just keep it moving before the garlic burns, put the shit in. Now put in the tomato paste and mix it around. Oh crap, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys. We also need heavy cream and Parmesan cheese. So don't forget that. So now that your tomato paste has now swallowed all the onions and garlic, this is what we want. So we are now gonna put in the heavy cream. So let me add a little bit more heavy cream. So now I have the heat on like medium low, low, medium, medium, low, whatever is the correct term. And I'm just gonna let this hang out for a bit and season it. 
So I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is a spicy vodka sauce. So I'm gonna start with my cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put about a little bit over a teaspoon because I like my stuff spicy. Then a good amount of crushed red pepper flakes and a generous amount of Italian seasoning. I get some black pepper. Okay, and some salt. I think that's good. So let's see this. And I'm like the type of person that likes to taste as I go. So um, after I season, I like to taste and then adjust it to my liking. But you also have to remember that there is, you know, another salty element that's going to come in here and that's the cheese. So you don't want to overpower it too much with, with that salt. Now we're going to add a dash of vodka. And I want to say you will need probably a shot-ish of vodka. I don't know how much that was, but I'm gonna just tell you guys you need a sh at least a shot of vodka in this. If you don't wanna use vodka, don't worry. You don't gotta use it, but it does add to the flavor. But don't worry, you won't get drunk from this. The alcohol is gonna cook out. It's gonna turn into some nice sugar. It's gonna give it this deep, deep flavor that I love. Mm. Ooh, delicious. Type okay, pasta's done. Let's try one. Ah, where'd it go? Okay, take two, take two. Take two. How's a bite? Maybe too much of a bite. But I like it though. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm saving some of my pasta water. I'm gonna save about a cup of it. Okay guys, so what I just did, I just rinsed out my pasta just so it could stop um, cooking for a bit. And now we're gonna, you know, turn our attention back to the sauce. So after you put in the vodka, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in just a tad of the pasta water, just a tad. gonna mix that in. It's gonna help thicken up the sauce a little bit more. And I'm just gonna save the rest in case it needs a little bit more thickening. Okay, so from this point, we're gonna just let the sauce simmer. However, um, since I like some meatballs, I'm gonna put my meatballs in right now. Okay, let me just toss them in the sauce for a bit. So I'm just gonna let it hang out here on about medium low. I'm drinking some orange juice. So I think it's ready for the pasta to go in. So let me see how much I could put in first. Okay, I think I could fit the rest. Whatever, fuck it. Let me look at this goodness. Look at, oh my gosh, okay. This just looks so amazing. So now the last part is just to put in a tablespoon of butter. We're just gonna have that mix. It's gonna give it this nice glossy coat. 
So while we wait for that butter to melt, and it's almost done melting, I'm gonna put in some Parmesan cheese. And then just give it a nice mix, and we are almost done. Just gonna give it some parsley, and we are now done. Looks amazing. Now it's time to eat. Okay, guys, I'm back. So James is busy working out, so I'm not gonna bother him. So I am gonna do the taste test. Um, even though I've eaten this so many times, it still amazes me how good it is that mm, that first bite. Oh my god. And the pasta is perfectly al dente. I just can't. Oh my god. Okay. Well, anyways, I hope you guys give this a try. This is one of my favorite new recipes. I'm so happy TikTok put me on this because I've made this almost like maybe four times now since I learned it. And it just keeps getting better and better and you keep learning more and more. And that vodka really gives it that nice, deep, rich flavor that I love. And, um, you can't really go wrong with this, to be honest. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of your love and support. I know I've been getting lots and lots of love for my videos, so I really appreciate it. Um, and if there's anything else that you would like me to cook, make sure to leave it down below. Make sure to let me know if you make this. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do because, you know, uh, four times in like two, three weeks is, um, you know, it says something. Okay, so don't forget to thumbs up, like this video, um, click subscribe wherever it will be. I think just click subscribe and click the bell icon just so you know when my new videos will be coming out and I will see you next time. Bye guys.